Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video we're going to do an intro on player animation. So the way I have it set up, whenever I click on this part here, it triggers the animation. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay, so to get started with this video, the first thing we're going to do is actually create the animation. So to do that, we're going to click on the plugins tab up at the top, and then we're going to build a rig. Once this menu pops up, go ahead and select the second one, which says mesh rig. Once you do that, you'll have a dummy model that appears. And next, you're going to click on the animation editor at the top. And this will bring up the animation editor window. What you have to do first is click on your dummy. You can name your animation, so I'm just going to call this one My Animation. And then press Create. Okay, so the way this works, we're going to start by clicking on one of the body parts that we want to move. So let's go ahead and say we want to move the torso. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is click somewhere over to the right-hand side, so maybe around the 06 mark. The exact spot doesn't really matter right now. We can always adjust it later. The next thing we're going to do is move the model to the position that we want it to move to. So let's say we want to twist it to that position. And then what happens is these first set of dots are your starting position. And these are your ending position. And if you press play, then you'll see it moves from the start to the finish. If you want it to go slower, just drag it more to the right. And if we press play again, then the movement is quite a bit slower. If you want to move another body part, go ahead and select another spot to the right. And this time, let's go ahead and move the torso back the other way. So let's move it all the way to the other side. And now if we take a look. Okay, so the first part looks pretty good, but the other part is going really fast. So I'll spread this out a little bit. And if I play the animation, it still looks a little bit quick. So we'll spread it out even more. Okay, that looks better. And it looks like I ran out of space here, so if you want to extend this farther, go ahead and head up here to the time and increase the number. So let's make it 3. So now I have some more space to work with. So what we'll do now is we'll move the torso back to center. So I'll click over here to the right, and then rotate the torso back to center. And then we'll just stretch that out a little bit. So let's say I want to move a new body part now. What you're going to do is the same as before. Click on a new spot to the right. Then click on your new body part and rotate it to its new position. So we'll just go to the side like we did for the torso. And now there's another level of dots here. And this corresponds to the other body part. So this first set would be the starting position. So let's go ahead and have this start after it completes the torso movements and then we'll spread this out going this way okay if I start it from the beginning so it twists the torso back and forth and then moves the head if you want the head movement to go along with the torso movement then you can drag this start back to the beginning and now we can watch what happens so now the head moves with the torso and you can continue to do this for other body parts. I will admit it's quite tough and it takes some practice. So what I would do is just start with very simple animations, like just moving one body part back and forth, and then add more body parts onto it. The most important part and the part that caused me the most trouble is whenever you want to do a new action, just click to the right before you start moving that part. Okay, so once you have the animation the way you want it, the next thing you're going to do is click on the three dots right over here. You're going to click on Export. And then when this menu pops up, go ahead and press Create New. Give your animation a name. So I'm just going to call it First Animation. And then just give it some description. And then click Finish. Okay, at this step, it's important, before you close this window, go ahead and copy this. Once you copy it, then you can close the window. And you can close the Animation Editor if you're done. Okay, the next part, as far as the setup for the part itself, all you have to do is add a part into the game. And then under that part, you'll need a click detector. 
After that, we can start with the scripting. So what you need to do is head under the Explorer menu, locate the starter player, then starter player scripts, and then add a local script. Under this local script, the first line right here is referencing that part that we just added. This next part is referencing the click detector under the part. And then after that, the only real important part that you'll need to do is with that line that we copied from the animation editor window, go ahead and paste it somewhere on the code. And the only part that you'll need is this part right here, the set of numbers. So what you can do is you can copy that part and then get rid of the rest of it. And then those numbers will go right here. So you'll just paste those numbers right there and that'll be the animation ID that it plays. Okay, the rest of it you don't really have to worry about. If you ever want to do animations in the future, everything will be exactly the same, except for the animation ID that you create through the editor. Okay, let's go ahead and paste our new animation ID and take a look. So now if I click on this part right here, it runs the animation that we just created. Okay, so this is going to be the end of this video. So what we did is we used the animation editor to create a simple animation. From there we recorded its ID and then we wrote a script that plays this animation whenever a part is clicked. So what I'll do is I'll paste a link that you can learn more about this. Basically for the script though, like I mentioned before, a lot of this is not going to change. So if you want to just make a copy of this and then whenever you want to add a new animation, just make sure you update the animation ID. We'll try to do some more with animations in the future. For now though, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.